Let's have so much fun with our favorite fabrics, making a great fabric box that does not require sewing, it's just gluing instead of sewing. And this is cartonage, the art of box making, and it is a technique that is very popular in so many countries. And here in the US, it's not different, we also have so many fabric lovers having so much fun making unique fabric boxes that can be wonderful handmade gifts. I'm Claudia Skill, the cartonage teacher and designer from Colorway Art, and I'm also the author of the book Cartonage Basics and Beyond. Today I'm here to show you the process of making a unique fabric box that is like this. So we have a fr metal frame, okay, on the top of the box. This is so unique, simple and easy to make, okay? So if you want to see how to have fun with fabric in a different way that is not sewing, stay with me. Now let's see the simple materials that we need to make this box, okay? First of all, as this box has uh, a frame, okay, a metal frame that is, this is not the frame you are used, you know, uh, if you have, you know, have done some purses using a metal frame, this is not the, the same, okay? If you do that, if you do, if you try to use that frame, it will not be able to make a box out of it, so, okay? So it was designed to make boxes. Uh, so, we have some do-it-yourself kits available, we have different sizes of do-it-yourself kits, so we can make the box that is um, a medium size, like as I'm saying here, and this is the small size, okay? We may have different colors of frames and different sizes in the future, depending when you are watching this, okay? More than the do-it-yourself kit, we will need fabric, right? So choose your favorite fabrics, and in this case, we're gonna need... Uh, to coordinating quilt fabrics, okay, so do not choose a thick fabric, a quilt fabric is the best one uh, because we have certain space in the frame, so if the fabric is too thick, that will not work, okay? So choose your favorite quilt fabrics and uh, I would say two coordinating ones and one fat quarter of each is more than enough. Let's see here, this is my choice for today. Uh, I'm gonna use a dark one because I, I like and I like the how the uh, in the video it works, but you don't need to use dark if you are very beginner, maybe something more light or medium color will be better. But well, I will give you some tips here during the video how to use it, okay? More than this, we're gonna use glue and the glue we use for our cardinal projects is this one, very simple to find, right? So glue all from Elmer's. Then more than this, we need to apply glue. So I use a, a paint roller, but can be any other. Don't, don't need to be exactly this one, a paintbrush, okay? Any, a tray is good just for us to uh, help here in the process. We're gonna use masking tape. If you have a dispenser, any dispenser is fine. If you don't have, not a problem, okay? We use a lot of masking tape in cartonage. We're gonna use a cutting board and also a rotary cutter, can be the normal one or this is an ergonomic one, it's up to you, okay? Uh, we use spatula, so uh, any plastic spatula that you have available will be good. We also need some kind of scissors, okay? And uh, I'd say I like to have a paper that is a scrap of paper protecting the table so we can apply the glue over. And I scrap off Claude, this is an old t-shirt that I like to use. Sometimes I need to clean my project or clean my finger, so this is really good. Today for this box, we also need a instant glue, and can be a super glue, it's a good idea, but if you have any other craft glue that for metal, that can be also. And it's important today that you have two uh, clothes pins that can be, I buy those at Dollar Tree, okay? So you can buy like this uh, pack of six and you can use a lot in cartonage too, okay? Uh, maybe you have any other kind of, uh, uh, of clips like that at home that will work, okay? And if you are familiar with cartonage, we use, usually for making boxes, we use spacers and the corner tools to make, to have a good finish in our projects. But for today's project, we don't need it, okay? If you have the corner tool, uh, we have two corner tools available, okay? So 
so those are to have a good corners in our projects. If you have those you can use and it will be very quick and easy to do but if you don't have not a problem i will show you how to do without them okay well this is what i need very simple materials and now let's go and start making the box now let's start making the box so uh, inside the do-it-yourself kits you're gonna find all the pieces of cardboard and also craft paper, poster board, uh, copy paper that we need to make this box, okay? The pieces are all, all have numbers. So uh, we're gonna start with pieces number, let me show you right here. So we're gonna start with piece number one and the numbers I'm talking about is just the last numbers we will see in the kit. So we have piece number one, two pieces number two, and two pieces number three. Those are the pieces to build the box itself. Okay, and so for then we need some fabric and in the way we do, the way we do cartonage here is um, we're gonna cover all those pieces with the fabric that I want for inside of the box. Okay, and then once the pieces are all covered, we're gonna build the box. So let me show you, for example, in this process, I have two ideas for you. So in this box right here, I have done all the pieces of the inside with one fabric. Okay, so one, the coordinating fabric, let's say, I did all for the inside. This is one idea. Another idea right here is I use the, the same fabric I use outside. I did my bottom and then I use the coordinating around. Okay, so it's completely up to you. It's your box, okay, have fun. This is also a fun part of the process, choosing the fabrics you're gonna use in each part of the box, right? In this box today, I'm gonna use my dark fabric for the base of the box and the coordinating for around, okay? So if you want to do the same, you just follow or choose the fabric you want. So I will need, this is my fabric for the bottom, Okay, so this is piece number one. So the way we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be doing, you put your pieces on top of your fabric and then you cut around half an inch bigger. Okay, this does not need to be absolutely precise. You can just go freely and cut around or if you want to measure, that's fine, but that definitely not needed. Okay, so piece number one. And for pieces number three and pieces number two, we're gonna cut half an inch bigger too, okay, of each of the pieces, you know, so separate pieces like I'm showing right here for you, put on top of them and then cut half an inch bigger. Okay, so this is what we need for this, for this part of the process. Piece number one is the bottom, and pieces two and three are the sides of the box, so choose the fabric you want for inside and cut half an inch bigger, okay? So now it's time to start gluing. So here I have, I'm gonna start with piece number one, okay? In this part of the process, we, don't, we do not apply glue over the part of the paper with the number, we flip and apply glue on the other side, so I always know which number I'm talking about, okay? And to get started, I'm gonna put a, a little bit of glue on my tray, and then I'm gonna uh, roll my roller like this. So I, just to have the surface of my roller, you know, full with glue, just to get started, and then I'm spreading the glue on this here on my box, and then I go and spread. So it is a thin layer, okay? Not a lot of glue, it's just a thin layer all over, and then I just put on top of my, you know, the wrong side of my fabric, and then do this. Okay. So once you do that, you repeat for all these pieces that uh, we just um, we just did. So pieces number two and three. For all of them, we're gonna spread the glue. important to say that if your fabric has direction then the top of the fabric must to be on above the number okay so you see the number 
on the uh, above the number is the top okay so it's really important so if you have your fabric has direction mine doesn't have but if your fabric has direction this is the way your design must to be okay so just take care of this for those um, those pieces of fabric not apply a lot of glue it's just you know enough to cover the, the the cardboard with a thin layer like this okay so this will be good that you will not mark the other side of your fabric if you pass too much glue then the fab the, the glue may pass through the fabric and show on the other side and then can be worse if you are using dark fabrics right but we have we have some tips, important tips right here. If you notice that you have marks of glue on the right side of your fabric, you can pick your piece of cloth with water and just go and wipe a little bit on top. That can help. Sometimes, depending on the fabric, it's more difficult to remove. So it's always better, you know, to avoid having so much glue that can be marking your fabric in a way that you don't want, <laughs> okay? Very good. So now that our pieces are all glue with the fabric I want for the inside, it's time to trim some, some fabric around. And uh, before doing that, I always like to use my piece of cloth and clean the pieces around because sometimes I have some wet glue and I don't want my cutter to, you know, be full of glue. So this is what I do. Take a look at your pieces. If you see that you have like white, wet glue around, you just clean it. That can be done with a paper towel or just using your claw like this. Just clean a little bit just to facilitate this, okay? Or simply wait. If you wait some time, then the glue will dry, right? So that's also good. Okay, so now, now it's time to trim around, okay? So let me put my... One more here. So piece number one is the base of our box and we don't need any fabric around, okay? So you just go right on the side of your cardboard and cut like this. All the way, you can use a normal rotary cutter. This, again, this is ergonomic just because I have some problems in my wrist, but other than that, you can use the normal one as you, you may have. Okay, so this is piece number one. We don't need any fabric around. So now pieces number two, okay, we need fabric only on the top. Okay, so as I said, here is the number. Above the number is where I need fabric. So on all the other edges, I can trim. So on the bottom and sides, I will be cutting straight with my cardboard. So I only have fabric on top for both pieces too. Okay, in piece number three, one of the pieces number three, we're gonna cut straight with the bottom, okay? And right here on the top, we need to cut corners because we're gonna need to glue this like this soon. So I have extra fabric on the corner that will give me not a good finishing. So I have to trim what is, what is a lot. So you can use, if you have any of my corner tools, you can use that. So for example, you put the corner right there and just cut, this is what we need, okay? So we need to have this space, a little space right here on the corner, okay? So if you don't have this, you can also use scissors, okay? And just go right there on that corner and try to be like 45 degrees as much as you can. Okay, and leave some space right there. Okay, so this is usually the thick, a little bit more than the thickness of your cardboard. So these two or these two right here, that is the long one, you just put in the corner and cut with your cutter. This is the same thing. Okay, so, uh, well, you're gonna do that with one piece number three. Okay, only one piece number three. This is different than what we do for usually, okay? So now the other piece number three, you just cut straight with the chipboard on the bottom, on the sides. 
Okay, so you got, so the other piece number three, we'll do kind of the same way we do for pieces number two. So you just cut uh, two sides and one back. So here, let me show all the pieces right here. So you have, you can better see them. Okay, so this is piece number one. So here you go, piece number one, it's our, you cut our round. Pieces number two, you leave fabric only on the top. Piece number three, one piece, you only leave fabric on the top. And for the other piece, you do, you leave fabric on the three sides and you cut corners on the top, okay? So now let's see how to finish those pieces. Okay, so you go there and you spread the glue right there. This is piece number two, you spread the glue right there on the top. And then with a plastic spatula, you go under a project and bring tight. Okay, and then same thing for the other one. Piece number two. And then uh, if when you come here with and bring your fabric, if you notice that you have glue, just clean with your cloth, then you don't keep marking your project. Okay, same thing for the piece number three. Okay, just put under the project and bring tight. Okay. And now for the last piece, number three, we're gonna do something different, right? Because we have two sides and top with fabric. So this is the way we cover when we need corners. So you will start right here in this corner, in this edge, that is this short edge, spread the glue on the edge and also spread the glue right here on that part of the fabric that's right on the corner, okay? So you bring this fabric tight on the side and right here on this corner, you press down. So hold your spatula like this and press down right there. So you're gonna have kind of your fabric right there on that corner you know, glue fabric with fabric. And this is really important for a good finishing of your box, okay? For your, I would say not, not only for, this box is a little different because of the frame, but if you don't have frame, this is actually very, even more important. <laughs> okay, so same thing on the other side, piece number three, short side and press down, okay? And then right here, we're gonna finish this side like this. And then here we spread the glue on the... Now in this part, I only apply glue over the cardboard, not on the fabric. And here I go over the wrong side of the fabric on both side uh, corners. And then I'll come and bring very tight. Then you can press here on your corners and you see that you probably will have a very good corner, okay? So this is how we have good corners in cartonage. And this is something that is important I forget to tell you, hope it, this is not too late, okay? This piece that has three sides covered, this is the back of the box and this one is the front of a box, okay? So in case you have any direction in your fabric. I hope you did right. <laughs> okay, my apologize for that. Now that you cover all the pieces of the chipboard that we need for the box, we know if the fabric for the inside, it's time to build the box. Okay, we're gonna start with piece number one, that is the base. Okay, so let's see how to do it. So we'll pick piece number one. I like to put a little bit of glue on my tray so that help me right here in the process, okay? We need masking tape now too. So here's piece number one, and we will be holding the pieces with the fabric not facing you, okay? So for example, let me show you. So once the box is done, it will be all done covered inside. So when I'm doing the box, building the box, the fabric is facing out of me, it's not facing me. So I'm not looking to the fabric, I'm looking to the cardboard, okay? So let's see here. So here is my cardboard and I will start applying glue on the side edge, the short edge here. Okay, so spread the glue like this. Not a lot of glue, just a little bit of glue on the edge, only on the edge of this piece. And then you pick piece number two and you do the same. So you are not looking to the fabric, 
you are looking to the paper, to the cardboard, okay? So you put right there, right on top of this edge that you just apply glue. It's exactly the same size, okay? So you just put on top of that, hold right here on the sides, make sure it's aligned, okay? And then you put two or three pieces of masking tape, just to make sure that will be, uh, be fixed in the position. Okay, and then once I did one side, just flip to this position and then put the other one. Okay, and then another piece number two, just go here again. One more time saying I'm looking at the postable of the, I'm looking at the cardboard, right? So just put those pieces of masking tape. I like to put the masking tape in pool a little bit so I know that it's uh, more tight, okay? And now I put in this position because it's not stable, right? We are just starting the process. So now we have to apply glue to all those three parts. Don't put too much glue. <laughs> okay, so you apply glue to the three parts. Now, okay, and now it's time to put your piece number three, uh, and uh, we're gonna put right there on top of the other one, okay, right there, and make sure it's aligned right on the side, and put a piece of masking tape, and press, and then you go to the other side, and make sure that it's also aligned right there on the top, and then put your piece of masking tape, kind of a little less than half an inch right from the beginning of the, the piece and then you just go here on the bottom and also make sure that it's all aligned okay so put your pieces like this and put right there okay and okay very good okay so this is all Align it so here is oh take a look at this. This is how my box is right now. Okay, so I just need to put one more piece, the other piece number three. Okay, uh, and another thing that I I just didn't mention, but the top of the edges they are all covered with fabric, right? We covered all the top sides, just because it will be you know a beautiful box on the top. Okay, and then now. Now that I have my, my glue again and the three edges, I'm gonna use, put the other piece number three on top, but now I'm gonna use a different uh, tool that some of you already have. This is also optional. You can do exactly the same as we did here. Just put in position and apply the masking tape. Uh, but I also have the clips that I want to show you just in case. So with the clips, we just put the clips on this piece number three that I have here, right? So once I have my clips in position, I just go, come over here and put them, uh, let me put in this position so it's better for you to see. So they fit perfectly, right, on that, those pieces, that part of the box, okay? So once it's there, I know it's in the position <laughs> that is just putting your masking tape right there and putting the masking tape in the rest of your box. Very good, very good. We can remove this carefully right now. Now that the box is done, let's start covering outside of this box. Now we need poster board, okay, that are included in the kit. I need two pieces five and two pieces four, okay. For this box, we're gonna cover piece number four and two pieces number five with one piece of fabric, okay? So choose the fabric you want for the outside, choose that fabric that you want for the outside and the fabric will be the same for front and two sides, okay? So piece number four and two pieces number five and then for the other piece number four, you cut a separate piece, okay? So for both of them, you're gonna cut like this, half an inch bigger around, okay? 
one piece number four those is for a little later and here are the pieces i need now so you put piece four and pieces five on the side they are not touching each other they are also not very far away they are about one sixteen of an inch or one to two millimeters you know far one from the another one okay so you put on the fabric and cut around so now let's start doing this so put your fabric wrong side up on your side and uh, I always like to put this on my on the wrong side like on top exactly as I, I had in the other side just to make sure that it is in the position that I want then I start picking the middle piece it's easier to glue than straighten it if I do that so I spread the glue on the back of piece number four And glue right there in that position where you just remove it right clean your fingers if you need then flip this over and you go with your hands make sure that is all well glued okay and then we're gonna glue the pieces on the side again the position of them they have to have all the same height so the stamped pieces have the same direction so if you can read this number that's the position we're gonna also glue piece number five reading that number okay so they they match here the same size and the high okay Up over and put like this and then i repeat the for the other piece number five so now that i have those pieces uh, cut i have to cut corners okay so i'm gonna use my corner tool but if you don't have it as i showed you before you go with scissor and cut with scissor okay so you can use the corner tool with your rotor cutter or simply use your scissor if you don't have it okay you're gonna find those tools and do it yourself kids everything in the shop and the link is um, in the description of the video okay so you're gonna cut all four corners here okay if you notice that you have too much glue fabric around so for example right here i can see there's a lot of fabric at this point about half an inch to three quarters is enough sometimes i i just not i don't measure when i'm really cutting because i know i can trim later it's much easier you know very good so now what i'm gonna be doing is uh, i can see here that it's not very well glue so let me just apply a little bit glue and press more so i need to apply glue only on the top right now okay so make sure look at your design if you have any direction in your particular direction in your design make sure you are gluing the top so spread the glue out on the top part of this right and then just bring with your spatula very tight now it's time for us to glue this outside part we just made right here around the box and here is something that is very important okay so the part we cover out the sides let me show you here this part where we cover the sides of this piece number three okay let's see this tree is only on the top this tree we have sides and top right so this is my back okay so this this part right here is the back so you're gonna be gluing this part here on the front so saying again this is the back so put your box like this with that part on your box on your table and this is what we're gonna be gluing right here on the front so now we're gonna put piece, those, this piece right here on your table, okay? And apply glue all over the back of the center piece, piece number four, okay? So we spread the glue, hold and try not to move this piece, okay? But I also want to glue 
on the fabric on the bottom and right there on the top I need fabric too. And I go a little more on the sides with this, okay? So now with this part of the fabric you go right there, okay? And then glue is exactly the same position so you just align top here of the box, right? And glue the extra fabric here on the bottom. And then you put masking tape right here on the top, like this, okay? This masking tape stay here for not long, it's just because I need that to glue together and to hold more, okay? When we are doing other cartonage projects, usually this stay like overnight, but in this case we're gonna put the frame on top so very soon we're gonna remove but it's important that you put this masking tape just to hold the pieces together okay very good so once you have this you flip to this position make sure you are not putting your uh, your the right side of your fabric over wet glue here in this scrap of paper okay then put in this position and spread the glue very well Okay, so now you just put and glue all the way. So here we have um, fabric going on the back, on the bottom, okay? And right here is our lining. So you just put a piece of masking tape to help keep this in position. Okay, and then let me just repeat to the other side. and then put right there. So if you notice, like in this case, okay, then put your masking tape right here. And uh, if for some reason you didn't glue enough right here on the bottom, that's not a problem. You just put the glue like this, okay? And then glue like this. And we can trim this extra fabric. So you notice that you have a lot of fabric right here on the bottom. So you can just cut like this on the corner just to remove a little bit of this and glue the rest. Okay. Okay, so now the box is done inside, you know, we cover outside. Prior to gluing the back and the bottom, we need to make the lid and attach the lid and with the frame and then we're gonna cover and finish the rest. Okay, so now next we're gonna start building the lid. To build the lid we need piece number six and seven. Okay, so those will be, those will be my lid actually, okay? Six is the top and seven is the finishing for inside, okay? Before cutting your fabric, we need to attach some extra pieces that we have in the kit, okay? So it's craft paper and copy paper. And you're gonna attach to those pieces here. Just because we need something to hold, you know, and to attach to the back of the box. So this is piece seven, six, okay? So it's chipboard. I'm gonna glue the piece of craft paper that I have just like this. So this is not a lot here on the on the back of the chipboard, okay? It's just the wide of your brush, kind of maybe half an inch there, okay? Press to make sure it's well glued. And you do exactly the same with piece seven, what it is the inside finishing. So here, how I, because I have poster board that is white, okay, I'm using copy paper that is also white, so I will not have much difference in my fabric when I see from the front, okay? Very good. So now I need to trim this, um, these extra papers that are on the side. For this, you can use any ruler you have. You can use scissor, or you can simply go and use your rotary cutter, you know, as you want. So I'm gonna just align my piece right here, first of all, with the ruler with the chipboard, okay? And just cut like this. And I will repeat this in this side, okay? And I do those four, and this one I just put on top of the poster board so I can see here. 
Uh, you can use a transparent ruler if you want. Okay, it's up to you. I'm just trying to do it. I do first um, straight. Okay, and then you can go and do a little angle. So let's see here. You just go here and on the let me see, this is about maybe one quarter of an inch right here. You just start and go all the way there. So I just want a li little angle on both of those sides. That doesn't matter if it is, you know, I just don't want you to go all the way here. It's just a, a slight angle. And you're gonna do the same on the other one, okay, so you can uh, if you prefer, you can do this, mark and cut, okay, let's do that so it's going to be a better finishing. So you can come over here and just mark where you just cut the craft paper, right? And then just so you know kind of where you have to cut this too, okay, very good. And also, I don't need a lot of paper on here, like so, this is the chipboard. If I have about two inches on the bottom, that's perfect, okay? We don't need more than this. If you have more than two inches, you can trim, but I think with the, the pieces we have in the kit, that's probably what you're gonna have. Very good, so now we have both pieces, okay, prepared. So this is six and this is seven. Those are the top, this is the top, and this is the inside of the lid. So my top, I want this, I want to see, this is a little tricky. So this is how I want to see my flower, right? So this is the position I will be gluing my piece, of course, right there. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna be gluing my piece of fabric on top of piece number seven, okay? So you cut your piece of fabric that will be it can be a little bigger on the top, maybe less than half an inch, you don't need much. And right here you can cut kind of flush with the end of your craft paper. You don't need a lot of fabric. So this is for P6. And for P7, same thing, okay? It can be a little bigger here, we're gonna trim later. And on the bottom can be the same or a little more, we're gonna trim. Okay, so this is what we need. Now we're gonna start applying glue on this part. So it's not the part with number where we glue the craft papers, it's on the other side. Okay, so you just spread the glue right there, also here on the craft paper, okay? And spread it very well. All the way. Okay, so this is my uh, front, this, this is how I want to see my flower. This is how I want to see my flower on my box. Okay, so I just flip over and this is where I will be gluing my piece number six. Okay, then put it back, press over, okay, and then see here how you go. Then we start right there and find this gap and press. In case you notice that it's not gluing here, it's because it's already glued on the craft paper, so you can just unglue a little bit, okay, if you need, and then glue it uh, pressing here, okay? I need this part to be, well, oh, this fabric is not showing, but you see this crease right here, okay? So this is how I will see the top of my box, okay? This is the front. And then let me do the same for the other one. And then I just glue here. That is not, it is very thin, so it's just like gluing like that. Okay. So, for those two pieces, what I have to do now is this. I go with my scissor, right? This is the beginning of the chipboard, okay? So you go with your scissor kind of, I would say maybe half an inch further, okay? 
and make one cut like this. And you go to the same thing the other side, half an inch, three quarters, that doesn't really matter. Just don't go all close to the end of the chipboard, a little bit more here. Okay, and then we apply the glue on the sides, both sides here, and we need to glue that part, that fabric there. Okay, so just glue this part of fabric right here. You can go with your hands too, that's easy. And make sure it is glue there. Okay, so this is what I need now. And I don't need any of this fabric around. I don't need any of this fabric. So you go with your cutter and just cut straight and neat and cut out off. So this is what I need so far for my lid. Okay, and this is the inside part. I'm gonna do exactly the same. Okay, so here is the end of the poster board. I go here and here, and the part of the poster board. I'm gonna cut a little bit here on the bottom too, because it's too big. As I said, I don't want more than two inches, so that's fine. And also really depends on the size of the box, right? Because if the box is smaller, we can have less than two. The box is bigger, you can maybe have more, okay? It's not really. Okay, so and now here around, I'm gonna use this one so I can see better where is my poster board. And you can use any other ruler. We're gonna do exactly the same. We are just trimming now. I don't need any fabric around. Uh, you can use even scissor if you prefer, okay? It's just trimming. And I will be trimming here too. Okay. So now with my both pieces, uh, six and seven, I'm gonna be gluing them together, okay? So this is the position it goes right here. And you just spread the glue all over the back of piece number seven, this one that we just, you know, finished. And we're gonna put this right on top of piece number six, okay? And try to align. The important thing is that you align right here on this part where you have, you know, the, um, the backing. So press here very well and make sure that they are well glued together right here on the bottom. You can also flip over. I'm using now this thick part of the spatula. For me, I think it's easier. Okay. And then just do it like this. Keep it pressed. And this is what we need for the lid. Now we have the box that's ready and the lid that is ready, right? Super simple, right? So now it's time to attach the metal frame to the box and then attach the lid to the box too, okay? So let's see how to do it. So first of all, we're gonna remove those masking tape, okay, that we just put right here. It, it is, it is, uh, we had time and off, okay, so that's fine. Okay, and so here is the, the frame. And what I want you to do is put it right on top of the frame. So the frame has two sides. One side is open to the bottom, where we're gonna put on top of this box. And the other side is open to the, um, the other side is open right here in that other direction, okay? So you see that these will fit absolutely perfect here on top of this box, unless you have used, unless you have used like a very thick fabric or something that then will not fit because it was designed to be used with this chipboard with cotton, quilt cotton fabric with that thickness, right? So if you use something that is thinner, it will work fine. But if you use like linen or something that is more thick, that probably will not fit, okay? So that's what I said. This is boxes to use quilt fabric, okay? So, well, so now what I'm gonna be doing? Here is the, um, this is the position, okay? 
So this is the position. So what I'm, I like to do is I close here just to make sure. And then I do this. Pick my frame and put in this position right here on the table. Okay, so this is the box you know that you just put on top here. Now we're gonna use the super glue. And it is just a little, it's not a lot. You just put a few, you know, a little bit of mess, uh, a glue in all parts of this frame. Go pressing and, you know, putting. Here is the safe thing is this is the box in the position you wanna put. You just flip and put on top, okay? So you have and press. Then now you can flip over. Okay, and keep pressing a little bit because you can open and press. You know this is super glue, so it it needs just a few minutes to dry. Okay, I'm gonna keep pressing a little bit. Okay, very good. So now this is the top of my box, right? So I'm gonna flip a little bit, like kind of close a little bit, and this will warp is it will fit perfectly inside of my frame, right? And you can close. So take a look here. We have our box basically done. It's super simple, right? So right here on the back, okay? Once it is there, make sure you it went all the way through the beginning, okay? So you flip this part like this, and here you're gonna spread glue on this part this part of the box okay uh, I kind of put too much make sure yeah you don't need that much but I want you to make sure that at least here or oh, right on this top of the box you have all over okay that's where you're gonna have a good, very good finishing okay so once you have this glue right there pull put the the fabric here on the back Okay, keep pressing a little bit right here, okay. It's now, the lid is attached to the box, okay. And I also want you to open this right now carefully, okay. This is still kind of dry. And you will be here inside, you will be also pressing. This is not a box that we can, for example, put something heavy, flip to this position, put something heavy because of the frame. So that's why I ask for the clips. In this part, you open your box and put your clips like this, and you don't open all, all the way. It's kind of just like this, you will feel. And keep pressing. This is just a little bit of patience, okay, here. You can put your clip and press, or keep pressing first and put your clips right there, okay. This just, Keep pressing a little bit. Once you notice that it's kind of more attached, you can just leave like just with the clips like this, okay? So take a look here. It's not open all the way. It's, I don't know if you can see better, but it's like this. It's just a little open and that's what I have with my clips. You can also put a piece of masking tape right here, just in case, you know, to make sure that we will be connecting them, uh, keeping them in the center, you know, more connected. Now just leave like that drying for a little bit and we're gonna finish the back and the bottom of the, the box, right? That we didn't finish yet and it's super simple. For the back, we still need piece four, okay? So for the back, we still need piece four that we cut prior, right? The piece of fabric for the back, half an inch bigger. So you just put right and spread your glue around. So do just go out the center. Okay. Uh, this is the position. Okay, so I just glue upside down. That's fine. I just take a look at your position of the fabric. This is the top. Okay. So what I need in this piece, I will be cutting corners. So I 
cut all four corners and then I can do uh, I will not finish the bottom only sides and top okay so I start right here on my side and then I go there and press my two sides and go to the other side and do the same okay, so press there press and then the top okay and then the top come over here and press down okay so when you are using poster board sometimes we have a a corner of extra fabric like a pointy fabric right here on the corner you can just go once it's done take a look on the front if you see there is something that's bothering you you just trim okay poster board sometimes is a little bent because it's thin so something you can do you can just put under your mat for you know a few minutes and during this time we're gonna finish piece number seven in this case that is the bottom of the box as we have different sizes of this box different do-it-yourself kits not all bottoms are number seven okay so you take a look in the do-it-yourself kit and see what number is the piece for the bottom in this case there is the medium is piece number seven okay so piece number seven you cut your fabric half an inch bigger and I'm gonna use for the bottom of the box this coordinating fabric you can use the same as you have used for the outside you can use the other one it's up to you okay so just do there and then we're gonna just do exactly the same okay I'm gonna speed up this video a little bit but I will be cutting corners and folding all around So now I like again to see if I have any corner that I have to trim a little bit. Sometimes that depends on the fabric. Sometimes I need to trim around, sometimes no. Now we have our pieces done. It's just putting, gluing those on the back and bottom of the box. And let's do it right now, okay? So this is our box right now. You just remove your uh, clips for uh, just a little bit and close your box, okay? just for us to finish so here on the back here on the back we're gonna be gluing this piece number this is the back right and the extra fabric goes here okay just make sure do not move this box a lot because it's still all wet right so just be gentle with that if you want to wait and do it later you can do it later okay i'm just moving on here in the video but you can wait more time so here with this part, I'm gonna be gluing right here on the back. So I'm gonna align, I align this piece right here in the beginning and um, align here on the bottom too, okay? And the extra fabric on the bottom goes just right here on the bottom, okay? So now I need masking tape on these parts where it's all around this piece that I just glued. Okay, so on the sides, and this is too big because of the frame, right? So on the sides and on the top, okay? So on top of the masking tape, I also like to, I always like to press just to make sure that it's okay, okay? This masking tape now is going to stay here for more time, <laughs> okay? So as it is, let me finish this and just glue the bottom part too. And then we will be ready to just let the box dry. So piece number seven, we just, you know, apply the glue all the way on the bottom, like the back part. 
and then this is the box you can just put in this position now and glue this all the way right here on the bottom of your box okay now masking tape again masking tape you can keep here like overnight okay and then your finishing will be very well good here is the box completely done okay so it is all covered outside I'll cover inside and then we still need to open and put our clip to dry a little bit more in this position so I will kind of guarantee that the lid will be attached with the box okay so let's see here open again the same angle as you were opening before put your clips like that and you can also keep pressing a little bit now you keep your box like this for at least one hour so after that you can remove the clips close your box and let it dry for more time <laughs> okay i hope you enjoy seeing how to do this box it is as i said a simple and quick and easy box if you do one to make the second and the third will be even more quick and easy okay and there are different sizes available in do-it-yourself kits do-it-yourself kits and tools and more supplies for cartonage in my website colorwayyards.com so i'm so glad you are here with me today thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you another time Bye-bye. Happy gluing.